This is nasty. Oh my god. <laughs> see, you see how easy it is to be recording and not even know that you're not recording. Today. Do you know what? I had a whole plan this morning. My plan was like, I'm gonna put on my makeup. I'm, I'm gonna show show them putting on my make me putting on my makeup and getting ready. But it just did not work this morning. Uh, like it is hot. I don't know if you know, but we're having like a heat wave in London at the moment. So yeah, it's looking crazy. We're on our way to Big Easy because you know we're all about the food. trying to convince me that there is tequila <laughs> in the slushy. I can't taste the tequila but she came, lovely lady came over and gave me an extra shot. If you got it, it ain't a question. Yeah. Yeah. Do some of those like it's not cooked or something? Yeah, the one that they gave you is unlimited. Yeah, it's unlimited because ain't nobody going back for seconds, mate. <laughs> that's why. No, some of this is not cooked properly, you know. This is nasty. Hey, maybe I watch too much YouTube because you know, like on YouTube, you see them have like an actual seafood boil. So I was expecting oh, a seafood boil, like with the butter and everything like that. It was nothing of the sort. It was literally just like a bland, some just bland tomato sauce. It wasn't seasoned. I couldn't even taste no underlining seasoning, nothing. But the, um, the breaded um, shrimp were very nice though. But that, by that point, I was a little bit over the food. Oh, and the chips are nice as well. Oh, Mango have got a 70% sale off. Have they got work trousers in there? I need work trousers. I really, really like these. And let me see, what's the size? 37. I need a 38. <laughs> it's true and these are decent ones yeah and you know what i found as well that the the trousers with no like you see how these the pockets don't move because i've got bum you girls know the big booty problems when you've got a booty right you can't afford to get them work trousers that um the pocket is not sewn oh my god <laughs> See, you see how easy it is to be recording and not even know that you're not recording. So, I am back at the gym. Skeet. Get it.
helped. Um, I wanted to tell you about a product that I've been using that I didn't bring in here. One second. So basically, um, this is a product called Olaplex. Um, do your research and go and read up about it because um, you should always read up about anything that you're putting on your skin or that you're using for your body. But um, I, guys, I've been using this. Like these are just like the trial. Like this is like the tester pack that I've been using. So the tester pack comes with the shampoo, the conditioner, the hair perfecter, which is like a pre-shampoo treatment, and then a hair bonder, which is like a smoother for after you finish washing and conditioning your hair. When I tell you this stuff is like amazing, it's I know amazing is my favorite word. I need to I need to find enough. I I think because obviously you guys are getting to know me, so you don't really know like my hair care journey, but I do have a pretty destructive hair care journey and I think I would say over the last three years sorry I'm just pushing my bra down over the last three years I have um, shaved my head probably I think once a year over the last three years it's only been this year the last six the last maybe year that I haven't shaved my hair, my scalp started going through a phase in the middle here where it would be itchy and burning and then it would start to shed, right? So obviously I went to my GP when I realized it was something that could be really, really serious. I know like um, culturally when your hair's relaxed, I, I don't know if it is a cultural thing. I say culturally because that's what just came to mind, but I know that I know a lot of people who are just like me who started getting their hair relaxed and really, 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 really young. I think I might have been 10 when I had my first hair relaxer. So I know that my head, my scalp has never really been without relaxer, you know, throughout my, throughout my lifetime and up until that point. So, um, it just got to a point where I guess my, my my body started to reject the chemicals and then you know how it is sometimes you'd relax your hair and you might burn your scalp and that's how infection and stuff like that gets in in any case I tried everything for the shedding because the shedding was out of this world and even as someone who is not I'm, I'm not attached to my hair I've never been attached to my hair back in the day I used to be the short pixie cut hair like Michelle from Destiny's Child I was never attached to my hair I was always cutting it but um, it's only later on that I kind of got into um, quick weaves and leave outs and stuff like that so it became vital that I grew my hair to do that um, and then fast forward to the issues that I just told you I started to have and funny enough the middle of my head used to always be the thickest and longest so I shaved my head a few times and what would happen essentially is every time I would shave my head it would grow back um, and then it would start to you know something would start to happen again and then it would I would need to shave it off the reason why I was shaving it is because I realized that it was more of a scalp problem rather than a growth problem because I could actually visibly see that my hair was growing it was my scalp itself that became irritated and inflamed so every time I shaved my head it was for that reason so that I could treat my scalp it would get better it would grow back and then it would start again and then sharp start to shed um, I am also iron deficient anemic so I do want to make a point of saying that make sure that you're taking your iron make sure that you're taking your zinc make sure that you know everything's all right you're taking your you know your supplements and stuff like that because if you are um, anemic you know or you do lack in iron that's something that can also contribute to hair loss as well um, but even as someone who is not like attached and has never been attached to my hair it's a different thing when you feel as if you don't have the choice to actually cut your hair. So anyway, I wanted to make a point of saying that because I know it's a little bit, can we say, I'm just gonna call a spade, a spade a spade. Your hair is your beauty as a woman. It's one thing if you choose to cut it, but if it's falling and there's something wrong, it can feel quite embarrassing and shameful. But by the way, I just want to say, I want to remind everyone as well, like I don't, unless I've tried something, I don't come on here and tell you guys to try it. And I always share the information. That's been my MO from the jump in this journey. So you already know that I come to you, I review products and I come to you and I tell you what I think is good and what I think is bad. But let me tell you something, this Olaplex, 
the long and short of it it is basically like a hair repair um, res restoration rejuvenation system they're all numbered and um, each numbered one um, represents um, what it what it basically does so um, what I love about this brand is they actually came up with the idea of making these little trial sizes so this is like tester sizes that you can buy for I believe it's like 20 pounds or something like that it might be a little bit over or just under 20 pounds so it's all to do with repairing it's a system that's to do that works to repair the bonds which are your hair and those bonds can somewhat sometimes be damaged through the chemicals that we use in our hair i.e relaxers colors and stuff like that so this system actually works to build those bonds back up right and restore your hair um, again so and it's for all hair types as well so you get the hair perfecter which is a pre shampoo treatment and it repairs strength and strengthens it repairs and strengthens the hair type you leave this in for um, 10 minutes um, at, or longer if you want and you would put this in the hair um, you would use this once per week in the hair it says use it once per week but you would put this you would apply this to towel dried hair before you shampoo your hair someone like me who uses um, who uses um, product like you know oils and, and creams and stuff for my hair I like to go in and shampoo and clean my actual scalp on my hair before I put this in because I don't want to waste this product and then after you do that they've also they give you the shampoo which is the number four and this repairs strengthens and nourishes the hair then they give you a conditioner which repairs strengthens and nourishes the hair as well which is the number five then they give you number six which is the bond smoother and this is a leave-in reparative styling cream which reduces frizz and nourishes and protects the hair when i tell you out of all of the products i have been using this has got to be the best now this has lasted me all of my hair well i think i've had maybe about six or seven hair washes since I've bought this. Um, a little goes a long way with, with all of these. Um, but I can tell you that the 100 mils are not cheap. Like they come in 100 mil bottles, the shampoo, the kind of, like the original sizes, and I believe they might be 26 pounds for each of the bottles. So I get why they do the kind of trial for you to kind of see before you invest your money because it is an investment. 26 pounds per bottle for each like the shampoo the conditioner and all of the treatments that's a lot of money so the fact that they you know they've made like a little trial they've made trial sizes for you to try is just bomb and my hair has come up so so well like I think I saw a difference I would say around my third wash I definitely noticed that my my scalp is less if not not at all inflamed and irritated and um, it's growing my hair is growing it never stopped growing it was more like the scalp kind of situation but what I would find is any shampoo that I used even when my scalp was clean it would still really irritate and I tried it all guys I tried black soap I tried um, rice water um, and but see now I'm thinking of it the rice water don't even really make sense because the issue was never really the growth I always saw growth after shaving my head it was the scalp that was you know inflamed and irritated but whenever I use these products I notice that my scalp is just calm and there's no irritation or anything like that so if you I don't want to long draw this out because it's not dedicated this video isn't dedicated to this to this brand but I thought it was really important to talk about it because my hair's damp right now and I'm gonna put the pre-treatment in as well um, so so yeah if you haven't tried it definitely go and try it. it is an investment it is not cheap but well worth the investment <laughs> Me. And send me video, they'll be sorry. Yeah. That's all I've seen for me. And that's all I've been giving the talk. I'm in the light. 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 I'm in the light.